A stepwise approach to asthma management continues to be used in the current guidelines and is now divided into three groups based on age, that is 0 to 4 years, 5 to 11 years, and 12 years and older. So what exactly is this step therapy? Let's dive in. A step up of medication, if necessary, and a step down of medication, when possible, is the recommendation by the 2019 Expert Panel Report for the Management of Asthma in Children. Step 1 is the use of a short-acting beta-2 agonist, or SABA, by nebulizer, or inhaler. It is the preferred treatment option for intermittent asthma, for quick relief of asthma symptoms, and for the prevention of exercise-induced bronchoconstriction. Albuterol and levobuterol are the drugs of choice. They have a quick onset of action, which is within 5 to 15 minutes, and a duration of action of 4 to 6 hours. Step 2 is the use of low-dose inhaled corticosteroid, or ICS. Alternatively, a leukotriene receptor antagonist such as Montelicast can be used. Step 2 is the preferred treatment option for mild persistent asthma. Montelicast is widely available as 4 mg granules, or 4 mg and 5 mg chewable tablets, as well as a 10 mg tablet formulation. It is administered as a single evening dose for asthma control in children above 12 years. Step 3 is the use of a medium dose ICS in the age group of 0 to 4 years. It also includes the use of a medium dose ICS or a combination ICS with a long acting beta agonist or LABA for children aged 5 to 11 years. For children aged 12 years and above, step 3 consists of the use of either a low dose ICS and LABA or a medium-dose ICS with a leukotriene receptor antagonist, or LTRA. Step 3 is the preferred treatment option for moderate persistent asthma. Step 4 is the use of a medium-dose ICS with LABA for children aged 0 to 11 years, as well as the use of a high-dose ICS with tiotropium, or LTRA for children aged 12 years and older. It is the preferred treatment option for moderate to severe persistent asthma. Hashtag Step 5. Step 5 is the preferred treatment option for severe persistent asthma. It includes the use of a high-dose ICS with either LABA or LTRA for children aged 0 to 4 years. For children aged 5 to 11 years, a high-dose ICS with LABA and LTRA is used. For children aged 12 and older, a high-dose ICS with tiotropium or LTRA and a low-dose OCS or omalizumab can be considered. Since the publication of these guidelines, omalizumab has received FDA approval for its use for children aged 6 years and above. Omalizumab is a monoclonal antibody indicated for moderate to severe persistent asthma with objective evidence of perennial aeroallergen sensitivity and inadequate control with ICS. This is, in short, step therapy used in asthmatic children. To learn more about the management of children in acute exacerbation of asthma, please watch the video coming up next. Thank you for watching.